Today I have the pleasure of speaking with expert Dr. Francis Dubé from Zen Graphene. How are you today? Good morning, Tracy. I'm very well. Thanks for having me. Well, of course, everybody out there, the reason we're speaking to Dr. Dubé this morning is to respond to Health Canada's uh, uh, recall about masks containing graphene as it assesses risk to people. It was a pretty scary, it's a pretty scary uh, Health Canada warning, uh, Dr. Dubé, and of course, you're a graphene expert. So if you could just respond to this uh, announcement, we would love to hear what you think. Well, first of all, we have to applaud Health Canada here in their decisive action. Um, they had no choice to act here. Uh, from what we can ascertain, there was millions of these masks distributed in Quebec over the last four months. 15,000 daycare centers had uh, been using these, including the kids, uh, the caretakers. They were in schools. Uh, some of the government uh, groups were actually using them as well. Uh, so these masks were very pervasive in the marketplace. There was no safety data, as far as we know, from these masks. So they had to act very decisively, and we actually applaud uh, how they handled the situation here. And of course, Dr. Dubé, uh, Zeng Graphene put out a news release this morning responding to your graphene mask and products. Why don't you just tell our audience the, the core message from this news release and thank you. The core message there is, again, we applaud Health Canada for their action here, but really to differentiate what we've developed. You know, we've been working, uh, you know, for the last year developing a unique patent pending process product. And this product has been through extensive testing, both for its efficacy against uh, viruses, bacteria, even uh, you know, uh, drug resistant bacteria, fungi. We've been through a, a whole gamut of testing on efficacy. We've worked with, uh, you know, top tier um, centers, McMaster University, Mount Sinai Hospital, Nucro Techniques in Toronto, which is a world renowned testing facility. Um, you know, so we've had extensive testing on the safety side as well at, at Nucro. So it's a completely different product. Um, and that's what we're trying to hammer home here is that our product is completely different than what was found in Quebec here. Of course, the big question everyone wants to know is, is your product safe, Dr. Dubé? We feel it's 100% safe, absolutely. Uh, we've done all the testing. It's not us that have done the testing. We've done this in really, uh, again, world-renowned centers. Uh, we feel very good about it. Um, we've met all the, uh, all the requirements to be a level one medical device. And with the ASTM one, two, and most recently level three, mask, a surgical mask. Level three is the highest level you can get in a surgical mask. And we passed all the requirements from Health Canada for that. Now we have been asked by Health Canada now because of this to supply them with uh, more information on what uh, our graphene product is in this product. Uh, luckily for us, not luckily, we, we've done the hard work here. We've actually, you know, uh, put all this work together. So now we've got to respond to Health Canada with what our product is, what testing it's been through. Uh, and we feel that we will we'll be able to get through Health Canada here, uh, hopefully shortly. Prior to this interview, we were discussing how when graphene first came out, a lot of companies rushed to that window of opportunity. They said, we have graphene. I recall asking some of them to define it, and they were unable to do that to even my standards. So is this a situation potentially where these masks that claim they are utilizing graphene technologies actually are not, or can you comment on that? Well, that's part of the problem. There's a lot of different products out there. You know, I'll, I'll draw your attention to the study that was done uh, by university, and they had uh, bought 60 different samples uh, from 60 companies claiming to have graphene. Not one of them had graphene in there. It was all basically micrographite. Um, so there's a lot of pretenders out there. Graphene is a buzzword. It's being used all over the place, and people try to, um, you know, create a marketing opportunity on the word. Um, but if you want to work with graphene, you need experts, you need your PhDs, you need time. We didn't rush our product to market here. We wanted to jump through all the hoops and all the proper testing protocols. Uh, and we've done that. We feel great about our product. And you know, with uh, hopefully uh, 
uh, the Cooperative of Health Canada here will have these masks on the market in the next uh, few months. So just anyone out there that's interested in finding out more about this should go to this news release. And of course, it's on our website at Investor Intel. But further to this, if they're looking in their in their medicine cabinet, for instance, Dr. Dubay, and they want to make sure uh, whether or not they have your product, they look for the company name Trevor. Is that correct? Trevor is the manufacturer of the mask product. Uh, there are partners here. We supply the coating, uh, but they actually are the mask manufacturers. Um, our products are not on the market right now. Uh, we are, again, are waiting for our Health Canada final approval here. And, and again, we've had it for levels one, two, and three, the regular testing that you have to do to bring a mask to market. Um, but now with this graphene situation, they've asked for more information. So uh, we're fully cooperative, uh, cooperating with Health Canada. We've given them all the information they requested. And uh, we're hoping that this will be uh, you know, approved very shortly. And of course, you know, I come from a PR background. And in my experience, negative PR can often be a very positive PR. Perhaps, Dr. Dubé, this will give you a podium to actually help educate people on the difference between micrographite and graphene and also to understand, you know, the value of doing your research before you just make an acquisition for a new product. I uh, absolutely couldn't agree with you more. This is on everybody's mind now. Everybody's talking about graphene and masks, and that's where we live right now. Um, we have a product that we know is safe and is effective. People will now understand the difference out there. The people that are basically pretending to be in this space uh, will not be able to compete. Uh, and then once our product gets approved, uh, you know, we'll, we believe we'll be one of the only ones uh, that will be allowed in this space. So we're very... Uh, actually happy with Health Canada, how they've taken decisive action here to protect the people, but also uh, the space that we're operating here from having uh, the uh, weaker companies out there. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Dubay. We appreciate your insight into this latest uh, Health Canada, Canada recall. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy, for your time. Have a great day.